Mastering the nuances of right and proper. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to unravel the meanings and uses of the phrases right and proper in the English language. These words often pop up in everyday conversation, and understanding their nuances can really polish your English skills. So, let's dive in and explore these terms in detail. Right is a versatile word in English, often used to denote correctness or morality. It's not just about being factually correct, it's also about adhering to social or ethical standards. For example, you did the right thing by helping her. Is this the right answer to the question? In these sentences, right signifies a choice or action that is morally good or factually correct. On the other hand, proper is more about appropriateness and conformity to established standards. It's about fitting into a set of expectations or rules. Consider these examples. Please wear the proper attire to the dinner. It's only proper to apologize when you've made a mistake. Here, proper relates to what is socially acceptable or expected in a given situation. When you combine these words into the phrase, right and proper, you're amplifying the sense of correctness and appropriateness. It's a powerful way to assert that something is not only correct but also suitable and fitting within a moral or social framework. For instance, it's right and proper to respect our elders. The committee took the right and proper steps to address the issue. In these examples, the phrase underscores actions or behaviors that are both ethically sound and in line with social expectations or rules. Understanding the subtle differences between right and proper and how they combine to reinforce each other in the phrase right and proper can significantly enhance your command of English. Remember, it's not just about language. It's about grasping the cultural and ethical underpinnings that inform the use of these terms. We hope this video helps you in your journey to master English. Keep learning and stay curious.